Hey guys, today I have three new colors coming from Fair Maiden Polish. The first polish is Total Eclipse of the Heart. It's a beautiful raspberry red holo that you can see, Total Eclipse of the Heart. Um, I, I just, I love this polish. The holo is beautiful. It's really hard to capture a good holo in red because of the red base, but um, I'm going to show you how I got full coverage in two coats. Um, I have already applied my base coat. I use Ziva's Triple Strength Base Coat, which I absolutely love. And um, as I'm applying, you can see that it goes on very smooth. The formula is so great. There, I didn't have any problems with it pooling or streaking or dragging. It just it went on so well. And you can see that you can kind of get full coverage almost in one coat. Um, I have a pretty visible nail line no matter what. It's uh, very irritating. But I think if you wanted to do a little bit thicker coat, you could get f uh, full coverage in one coat. But I prefer to do thinner coats just because I like to layer the polishes and kind of see what depth I can get from two or more coats. Um, like I said, this goes on so nice. Like It doesn't pool. It's not runny. It's just such a good formula where it was just a perfect kind of that raspberry red jelly base. So again, as you can see, you get a really nice layer with one coat and um, I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to come back for a second coat. All right, now we are on to the second coat. You can see that the first layer really dried that true raspberry color. It didn't pull it too pink or too red, which I have a problem, especially with my skin tone, finding a raspberry that stays an actual raspberry, and I feel like this polish really did that. Again, it didn't pull it too pink or too red, just stayed that kind of true raspberry color. And the holo was just perfect in it as well. Um, holos in reds, at least what I found, it, it kind of, they can kind of get lost in the red base. But this, even if you can see in the video, it definitely pulls that linear arc. And I thought that they, uh, whatever grade they used, just worked so well with this polish. I didn't have any problems with application on the second coat. I thought it went on just as smooth as the first coat. And it gives a little bit more depth of that raspberry color on the second coat, which I just think is perfect. And here you can kind of see a little bit of linear arc. And I wanted to show what kind of top coat I've been using because I know that people, uh, especially with set feet or out the door or those really quick dry top coats, you can kind of dull the holo. But I've been using Darling Diva's Prismatic PETC top coat which I found doesn't dull the holo at all. It's not quick dry though, so I think that probably contributes to it, but I feel it gives a, a shinier look to the polish, plus also more protection for the polish as well. But again, like I said, I don't feel it, um, it takes away from the holo at all, or the linear holo. And now you can see, I'm going to get a little bit closer so you can see that the holo arc and, and yeah, I just, again, this polish is just so beautiful and that true raspberry color is just awesome. Okay, the second polish we have up is called Careless Whisper. It is a beautiful, beautiful light pink. Uh, some say baby pink, I'll say light pink, with that is loaded with pink shimmer that kind of gives a little bit of a blue flash. Um, I know some people pinks aren't their things, but I say get over it because this pink is awesome and just it, it adds, it's not just a pink pink because usually when you see these kind of pinks, they're really, really sheer. Well, this pink is loaded with flakies, so it's not as sheer, but also because it's loaded with flakies, you need to change up your application style. Three thin coats worked the best for me. Um, it doesn't matter that it's a sheer pink. If you have a polish that's loaded with flakies, you need to do thin coats and try to keep the brush as flat to your nail as you can because that will help you from pulling all of the polish with the flakies up to the tip of your nails and kind of give you that little weird ridge thing. Um, again, thin coats, you'll if there's patchy, 
thickness or streaks, you'll fill it in with the subsequent coats. But thin coats, brush as flat to the nail as you can, and give you a good even layer. I'm going to let that dry and come back for the second coat. Second coat, I did the same concept as before, a thin, thin layer with the brush flat to my nail. Um, really make sure that the polish, the first coat is dry because if you don't, especially with these flakies, you will pull up the first layer and create kind of that, that bald area, which you don't want. And flaky polishes, they are a little bit more dense, so you do need to give it some more dry time to make sure that it's really actually dry. Uh, but you really can't, you can't, as, as complicated, or if you think it's complicated, of the style to uh, apply these kind of flaky polishes, it's really worth it because that shine and that shimmer, it just gives such a different element to the polish. So I, I personally love these type of polishes. I don't mind having to change up my application style. Um, I'm going to try to show you a little bit of the shimmer. It's hard to catch on camera, but in real life, it's it's amazing. It's just right there. I'm going to... No, I can't really get it, but you can see the beautiful pink color. I'm going to let this dry and come back for a third coat. Some people might be able to get by with doing just two coats, but like I've already mentioned with my robust visible nail line... I'm going to do three coats and also I want to see what kind of coverage and how thick the polish is with three coats and it doesn't look like it gets too unmanageable or too much kind of off my nail to where it looks like it's those kind of acrylics or or stickers almost but yeah I just and I love being able to layer to really bring out the differences in each layer with the flakies and the flakies are just gorgeous. This polish is just packed with them, packed with that shimmer. It's just beautiful. And so yeah, there are three coats and I'm going to let it dry, put on some top coat and call it a day. I just, I love those shimmers. All right, now we we're going to look at the third polish in the trio, which is a flaky topper called Eternal Flame. It is packed full of flakies that shift from violet to green. And a lot of people choose dark bases to apply flakies over. Um, I really wanted to showcase the transition of the violet to green, so I chose a taupe base. As I start applying, one of the first things I noticed is how easy that this flaky topper applied. Sometimes you can see flakies uh, really kind of thicken the polish, but this one, it, I had no issues. It wasn't too thick. I didn't notice it pooling anywhere. It didn't pull up and drag to the tip of my nail. And as you can see on this, this on my ring finger, uh, it applies so evenly and the flakies are very well dispersed. And I just, I thought this was a really nice application. And you really see the violet flashes in it right now. As I'm looking at it, I can see the green, but on the video it just shows up with the violet. And you could stop with one coat, but I'm going to let this dry and come back for a second coat. I did two coats. One, because I wanted to see if I could get more of a depth of a look with the flakies. And then I also wanted to see if I would have any issues applying the second layer with the second layer pulling up some of the flakies from the first one or I'm sorry, the first layer, but I didn't have any issues with this. It, again, went on so smoothly. Um, I hardly had to do any cleanup because it just, it stayed in place when I applied it. And uh, you can really see that violet shift again. I just, it's so nice. And then one more coat on my pinky nail. And I, again, I, I really am glad I chose this base because it really shows that purple to green shift. I'm going to try to get a little bit closer to show you what it looks like. You can see it's kind of blurry right now. I'm going to try to clear it up. And yeah, yeah, there you go. You can really see that green to violet shift over the taupe, which I think is awesome. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please let me know if you have any questions.